What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and welcome to another uh, long-awaited episode of Game Salad's uh, Space Shooter tutorial that I'm working on. Uh, anyway, awkward intro aside, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So in our last episode, we had, uh, actually let me go to level 2, we added moving stars, and this nice little scene where we can go back and forth. We can fly around, it's formatted for a phone screen, and we can destroy enemies and get a score. Uh, the explosions on the enemies don't look super exciting, and um, you can kind of go off the screen, which isn't really ideal, so we're going to fix those today. So, the first thing we're going to go to do is go to our Actors tab, and we're going to create a new actor. This actor is going to be called Invisible Wall. And I forgot we'd have space in here. I'll have a space right there. So Invisible Wall. We're going to go to our actor attributes. And uh, we will go down to physics. And we're going to make it not movable so that it can't be pushed away. And we're going to make its bounciness zero. All right, so let's add our wall into our level. And what we're gonna try and do is line our level right at the edge with invisible walls that the player can't pass. Uh, no clip. <laughs> so let's see. You want to cover this entire area. And I'm doing the wrong level, actually. Let me go into the other level. Excuse me. There we go. And now we'll drag this invisible wall. I was wondering why it was so long. It's because the first level we made was a maze. And this one is just a, a scrolling level with spawners. So I'm going to add one here. And I'm going to copy and paste this. And add the other one right here. Alright. And we also want to add one on the top and bottom of our level. So let's just make this nice and wide. Let's drag this down here so you can barely see it. And then let's put another one on top so that you can barely see it. All right, so this should effectively keep us from being able to leave our level once we've added a clip to it. So let's go into our invisible wall and tell it that it should collide with our player and if we hit play we now can't get past these edges now we still have a little bit of bounciness because our player has some bounciness so we'll go to our player go to our actor attributes scroll down to physics and change bounciness to zero and if we hit play we can run along this side here and it will not let us pass but it also won't bounce and glitch out but there's a problem you can still see these um, white borders which isn't ideal so we just go to our invisible wall we go down to color and we change its alpha which is transparency to zero and now when we hit play we don't see the walls but they still work they will not let us pass um, any of these walls all right so I think we should we should add an explosion um, for our uh, ships when they explode. So we have this one here, which I think is cool, but let's add a bit more to it by uh, reversing these images. So we should put this one and then the little one with the dot. And then the line one right here. Good. Now, this is cool, but it just kind of animates and then destroys itself. Um, let me put one into our level and show you what I mean. Uh, if we hit play, it just animates and destroys. It doesn't look very dynamic. Um, so what we're going to do 
is we're going to change the size to something more manageable, like 64 by 64, half of what it is now. And we're going to add some effects to this. So let's go ahead and leave all this as is. We'll still have it. Um, we'll actually make it disappear after two seconds because we're going to be animating it in those two seconds. All right. So now what we can do is we go to our behaviors and let's go ahead and use rotate. So we'll drag in rotate so that it kind of rotates clockwise. We're also going to drag in change size. So we'll do change size and this will make it grow. We want it to get smaller. So we're going to type in minus one. And then we also want to make it disappear slowly over time. So we're going to use interpolate and drag that in. And we're going to interpolate the attribute explosion color alpha. And we're going to change that um, alpha attribute to zero um, over the course of, let's say, two seconds. All right, so now our explosion should look a little more interesting. Let's go ahead and drag it back in and try it out. There we go. That looks pretty cool. So what we can do is go over to our enemy and scroll down to where we have him disappear. Now it says if HP is less than or equal to zero, add one to our score and then destroy the enemy. Well, what we want to do is right before destroy, we want to spawn that explosion. So we're going to look for spawn actor. So drag in spawn actor right before destroy. The actor we want to spawn is our explosion in front of the actor. And let's go ahead and hit play and see if this works. Good. That looks really good. Great, so now we have a little bit more of a dynamic uh, explosion system. Great, so let's go ahead and save this. We're running on uh, eight minutes right now. So uh, I'll pause it here and continue on next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Peace.